Carolina to grow up and mature. So she sent me off to Ohio. Then I go into the military. I was chief of satellite communications for the deployment of Pershing II nuclear missiles in Europe. So I worked. Oh, <clears> goodness. Yeah, that's when. That's a heavy job. It was pretty heavy. In the 80s. In the 80s. Jeez. I had a, I had a cosmic top secret clearance. It was before my equipment, my satellite communication equipment arrived in Germany. They stuck me in a, in a, in a vault as, as a ComSec custodian. So I handled all the top secret documents and, you know, passed those out to people who, you know, were looking for them. So I did that, went on the very first secret mission in the middle of the night to bring the very first nuke into country. So you get a, I'm, I'm asleep and you get a call Whoa. and the call will say, uh, Sergeant Hunter. And I'd go, yes. Yes, sir. Larry at advance. And I would say, I understand Larry at advance. And then they'd hang up. It's like real code, like real code shit like this. Oh yeah. I had people sitting down, <laughs> people, so in, cool. people in cars down the street watching my house for you know for prostitutes to get, drugs whatever to get my clearance yeah yeah so after you hear the larry advance you, you know, for me the next ne man on the list was taped to the underside of my um, drawer my table side drawer so i pulled it out turn it over make that phone call say larry advance they would recognize it and then i would run to the closet and pull out my bag and head into the barracks because I lived out on the economy. <clears throat> those were, you know, those were the days when you were working in an environment that, and you were so young, you didn't appreciate what you were doing. And be, just, yeah, do, yeah, you're young enough where you don't know the heaviness of right. what you're doing. The, and, and, you know, as a result of what we did, the Berlin Wall comes down. Yeah, this is absolutely, Reagan pushed him to the brink. He did. Um, he called on the evil empire. And the, the, because of our deploying those missiles, the Russians left the arms negotiating tables. So it was consequential what we were doing. But you grow up fast. I was living on the economy. So I had a landlord. I didn't live in the barracks. I had a landlord. And my landlord was a fat Jewish baker. <sighs> And you just get a visual with that, right? He would drag me down to his shop on the weekends and any other time he could get his hands on me to help him in the shop to offset some of my rent. In what country again? Germany. Germany, right? In Swabian, Germany, you got this big, sweaty guy, sweaty butcher. That's right. And you and he grabs the black guy. Let's go. <laughs> And so I would go. Now, the reason I mentioned the black guy thing is because I, in my early life, I was um, every job I ever worked in, I was always the first thing the ever, first, the first right, or, yeah. or the only. <clears throat> so those, you know, those were good experiences. That's a great experience. I, what, I mean, to be with a professional baker. Yeah. Who was, you know, and I had no appreciation at the time for what he was doing for me. Yeah. You're like, I just, I'm just trying to get the rent a bit off. I, yeah, I may as well have been working at Home Depot. Yeah, you didn't care, you you didn't appreciate it yet. No, but what you know the thing about being a baker is that it grows in you. It's like yeast; it gets in you, and then it grows, and that's what happened. It was my foundation. That's what started it. When did you know? I was in church. And the pastor, it was a series, and the pastor was talking about um, how the Israelites had left Egypt. Okay. And, they're in, 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 and they were preparing a sacrifice, and it couldn't, the bread couldn't have any yeast in it. As a matter of fact, there couldn't be any yeast in the whole community because it would defile the bread. And, and, I, and I came away thinking, why, why does God hate yeast so much? Yeah. 
because it was all unleavened bread. And that's what got me starting. That's what started me looking into, you know, what this, what, what the mechanism was. And I remember when, um, they were celebrating the first, when they were, when they were pass, at the first Passover, when the spirit of death was to pass over okay. and they had to put lamb's blood on the lentils. Yes. And, yeah. But they couldn't have, they, 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 were, they had to be in a hurry. So there was no time for your bread to rise. So the bread had to be unleavened, no yeast. That was a completely different story. And then I remember talking in the New Testament about you know, Jesus saying that he was the bread of life. I said, there it is again, bread. And then he says, this is my body, which is broken for you. Take, eat. It was bread, unleavened bread, celebrating Passover in the upper room. First miracle Christ ever does. Uh, loaves and the loaves fishes. Of bread, yeah. Where was Jesus born? Yeah, this part you, we were talking before, I, that blows me away. Bethlehem. Bethlehem, which means house of bread. Bethlehem. House of bread, just fantastic. So, you know, these are things that, these were the seeds that were planted. And it was how I, you know, became familiar with what it, what, with what baking was. And as a kid, you know, I was telling you that, you know, we, my grandfather worked, I mean, he was in the field all the time. He was a farmer. And if he ever came in and saw you watching TV or sitting around, he'd find something for you to do. And I'm you, sure and he you would. didn't want that. <laughs> right. <laughs> you want him to stay busy. Right. Oh, so, I got you. So, so I yeah. would always help out my grandmother who was always in the kitchen. I was under her skirt, around her apron. Yeah. And my grandma would, she figured it out, and she would say, um, leave him alone. He's helping me. Hen yeah, Hen Henry's, Henry's helping grandma. So I was around the kitchen. Clever. And I liked it. <laughs>